You say, well, Tom, what's the point? Well, the point is, whether it's Paul and Peter and John and Jude in the first century fighting Gnosticism and, Ju- and, and Judaizers, or whether it's Athanasius in the third century fighting Arius and his heretics, or whether it's you and me in the 21st century standing firm on the doctrine of Jesus, we are called to stand and persevere in the faith regarding Christ. Never to back up on Jesus. There's joy in perseverance. And we don't let up today because today we are still embroiled in a conflict for truth. The souls of people are dependent on a true understanding of who Jesus is. Do you get that? A false Christ is a damning deception. The souls of people are at stake. Satan has always attacked the person, the nature, the work, the sufficiency of Jesus. He started the attack the very first moment that God put on flesh and stepped into this world. In the first century, he started it with the Gnostics and the Judaizers. In the third century, he continued it with Arius and his heresy. And in the 21st century, it continues with Mormonism and Jehovah Witness and Islam and Buddhist and Hindu and all other religions that deny who Jesus is. Satan has always been about deny, deny, deny. That's his ploy. That's what Satan has always done. From the first century with Paul and Peter and Jude and John as they battled Gnosticism, a false doctrine of Jesus, to the 21st century as we battle those same heresies just by different names. Do you not see that it's always the same strategy? Your adversary wants the name of Jesus, the work of Jesus, the person of Jesus, the nature of Jesus. Deny, deny, deny. Why? Because Jesus said the truth sets you free. And only the truth sets one free from the bondage of sin. And a false understanding of Jesus is a damning deception. And your adversary knows it. And so we are called to stand firm and to persevere. That's what we do as Christians. We persevere. We don't compromise. We don't give in. We don't relent. We don't say your truth is good for you and our truth is good for us. We don't say that. We don't say Jesus is God for me, but he's not God for you. We don't say that. We stand on the truth of who Jesus is. Why? Because that's the only hope that people have. 